There's a version of you that never sleeps in, never skips training, never wastes time. There's a version of you who never fails. It is waiting for you. Genuinely ask yourself a question, you at home. If you had done those things for the last two years, you never skipped a training, you never wasted time, you never scrolled TikTok, you never sat aimlessly on the internet typing in garbage, never played video games, you never wasted time. You never skipped training, you were training every single day. You never slept in, you were never lazy. There's this version of you. Imagine the person you would be. Genuinely imagine what you would look like. Imagine where you would live. Imagine the car you would drive. Imagine how much the woman would respect you. Imagine the love you would see in her eyes when she looks at you with adoration like a king. Imagine your existence. That person is waiting for you. And the only thing that's stopping you from being that person is your monumental laziness. You can have it. The universe is very giving. It will give you anything you work for. I've never seen somebody try for something with all of their might and not get it. The only people who do not have the things they want are the people who do not try for them. I've never seen a person wake up and say, my only dedication in life is to solve a Rubik's Cube and fail. You are not stupid. You are not incompetent. You are lazy and arrogant. It's extremely important you understand that that person is waiting for you and you are declining that version of yourself. In the multiverse, the many different versions of the universe that exist, there is a version of you that does those exact things. And he is a greater person than you can even fathom. You can transform yourself into that guy. You can be a top G. That's exactly what I did. I knew who I was going to have to end up being before I became that person. My brother and I are not from rich families. We are not from advantaged beginnings. But I knew I had to be a big, strong, fighting billionaire. That's what I knew I had to be. Discipline is the key to success. If you cannot force yourself to do something you don't want to do, how are you ever going to put yourself through the suffering required for greatness? If you cannot force yourself to train when you do not want to train, if you cannot force yourself to work when you don't want to work, if you can't force yourself to not log into Pornhub or force yourself to eat right, how can you possibly ever become a monumentally successful person if you cannot control yourself long enough to do what must be done as opposed to what you feel like doing? The only people who get to live their lives based on how they feel are women and children. Children can cry because they feel like crying, as can a woman. A woman can start an argument because she feels like arguing, as can a child. A man must do what he is supposed to do regardless, irregardless of how he feels. That is the key component to masculinity is discipline. If you do not have the discipline to dedicate yourself to anything, you are going to fail and be crushed by the people who can. If you only go to the gym and you feel like going to the gym, you're never going to be as strong as the people who go to the gym when they don't feel like going to the gym. That is a reality of life. So, I train every single day. I've actually heard from some people say, you overtrain. And I explained to them, one, I don't believe in rest. I'm not you, I'm not pussy, and I'm not broke like you are, Mr. Fitness Trainer, standing around the gym teaching people for $50 an hour. I don't need to listen to you. Secondly, I don't train because I wanna get bigger. I train every day because it is difficult to train every day. It hurts. I don't want to. I wake up and I'm busy. I have other things to do. I don't feel like doing it, so I force myself to do it seven days a week, 365 days a year, so that I know I'm the kind of person who can do what he doesn't want to do when it needs to be done. I am that man and it's more of a mental exercise than a physical exercise at this point how can you ever outcompete me if I can force myself to do the things I don't want to do and you cannot discipline is absolutely essential for success and you need to get very comfortable and very used to the idea of understanding that on your path to greatness there are going to be long periods of time where you hate what you are doing where you are dissatisfied with the actions you must undertake where you are tired where you are stressed that is why it is difficult that is why most people won't make it if the path was easy everybody would walk it and it would lead nowhere a hundred people start the path 99 fall off because it is difficult and the one person who makes it to the end gets the gold if all a hundred made it to the end and the gold was divided by a hundred it wouldn't even be worth anything the difficulty gives it value the fact that it is difficult to do is the key component into the fact you want it in the first place if it wasn't difficult everyone would have it and you wouldn't want it because no one would respect it it's supposed to be hard life is supposed to be hard you're supposed to think this is terrible you're supposed to suffer and smile through the pain regardless discipline is the key to success in all realms as a man and if you lack it you stand no chance you can give most people a road map to success you can give them a ferrari with a full tank of gas and a lot of people still wouldn't make the destination because they would say the drive is too far away 
quitters. They don't have the discipline. You can tell them exactly how to do it. You can give them the mechanism to get there, but they don't have the discipline to complete the drive and end up at the destination. That is the majority of Earth. This is your competition. People who, even if they are told what to do and people tell them exactly how to do it and help them do it, still quit still fail because they lack discipline. Even me, with my monumental powers, I can't make a quitter successful. It doesn't matter how good I am. It doesn't matter how easily I make it for them to succeed. It doesn't matter how compendious and concise and powerful the real world is. It doesn't matter how much I text them and motivate them, how many emergency meetings I do to try and talk to them and hype them up, how much motivation I give them. It doesn't matter what I do. If they are a quitter, guess what they're going to do? They're going to quit. No matter how simple the map is to read, no matter how fast a Ferrari is, somewhere along the drive, the sun's going to get in their eyes, and they're going to sit there and go, this is, I don't like this, this is hard, and they're going to quit. Quitters are the number one type of people that nobody can help. If you're a quitter, I can't help you, life can't help you, God himself cannot help a quitter. So if you lack discipline, you lack the very basic building block to any type of success which exists on the planet. By every single metric which can be measured with science, you are going to stay a loser and a failure. Key is to keep training. If you train hard every single day, you don't have to worry about a little bit of vitamin C, it's true. If you don't train and you don't smoke, you're still gonna be a pussy. Yes. The answer is always hard, hard work. work. As soon as you are granted life, you are guaranteed death. What you do in between is up to you. You are all conscious. That could end tomorrow, that could end in 100 years. But the time between the beginning of your consciousness and the end of it is completely up to you. Training is never the wrong decision. If you're in jail, you should train. If you are free, you should train. If you are rich, you should train. If you are poor, you should train. If you smoke, you should train. If you don't smoke, you should train. If you drink, you should train. If you don't drink, you should train. You cannot escape that hard work. It's always the correct decision. There is no time in any scenario when working hard is going to be the wrong answer. You should always try your very best in all things. I will smoke 10 cigars a day and beat the shit out of you because I train harder than you can possibly fathom. Pain is an extremely important part of the equation. Pain is the elixir of success. When people say this bad thing happened to me and I'm suffering, I say good. It is pain which is required. It's one of the elements in the chemical reaction. And the chemical reaction requires five particular in dis uh, distinct compounds and you have four and you're missing one, it simply doesn't work. Pain for a man is one of the most important elements in becoming successful. Batman is Batman because they killed his parents. If they did not kill his parents, he would not be Batman. You're supposed to suffer. You're supposed to take that pain. The worst thing that can happen to you as a man is you live a life with no pain in it. To be born into a rich family and have a nice easy life and be given money and you don't have to go to the gym and not have to train because you have bodyguards and sit around like a fuck up. You're going to be miserable and unhappy and a drug addict buying prostitutes. You're only going to have women who adore you. You're only going to feel confident in yourself and feel happy when you've been through hell and come out the other side. The pain is required. And you'll often notice that people who are better than you are people who have suffered more than you have suffered. So, the person who is waiting for you, he requires your motivation, also requires huge amounts of pain. So when bad things happen to you, do not sit at home and lament. Do not feel sorry for yourself. Instead, look in the mirror and say, thank you, God, for giving me one of the ingredients that is needed for the chemical concoction that is going to turn me into a superhero. Because pain is an extremely important one. In fact, it's one of the most important ones for a man. Everything is war. All of it. Sitting in the commute without losing your patience is war. Trying to find a way to escape your slave job is war. Keeping your wife happy and your children inspired is war. Training to become stronger than before is war. It is all war and it cannot be avoided. And I'll tell you why it's war. Because war is two opposing sides trying to achieve the same goal. Two opposing sides want the same land or the same influence over X land. And the car you want, the Ferrari, you're not the only person who wants it. The reason it's so expensive is because others people want it. But the girl you want, the beautiful woman, everyone wants her. It is war. It is competition. 
Everything about life as a man is war, it is conflict, because you are competing against the other men who want it the same. Which is why discipline is such an important thing. Which is why you must take the pain and add it to the concoction to become as formidable as possible. Life is war. This idea that you can go through life as a man and avoid war is probably the biggest mistake that most men make. Because it is impossible for you to achieve anything significant without war. Running a business is war. Running a hotel, running a restaurant, running an online company, it's war. Training is war. Life as a man is war. You need to wake up and view it exactly as what it is. Everything I want, other people want. Everything I desire, other men are trying to get. This is a war and I must outcompete them. That is the best possible mental model you can have. Even in jail, it was a war for who could stay most calm. A war who could control their mind the best. A war for who could suffer the least. That is war. I was surrounded by people who lost their minds and I refused. It was a battle and I was successful. Life in and of itself as a man is a never ending struggle and a never ending battle. It is the constant of the human condition. Evolution requires pain. While others complain that they do not feel happy enough, I'm happy I'm struggling. I don't want to be happy. I want to be great. This is the beauty of life as a man. You understand? I don't care. I'm happy to be struggling. I wanted to fight. You wanted to win. I wanted to fight. That's the difference. You're concerned with winning. I wanted to just fight. And we're fighting. That is the beauty of life as a man. To be great. If you concern yourself only with being happy, you are once again acting like a female or a child. Happiness is fleeting. It doesn't even matter if you're concerned only with the hedonism of happiness. You're gonna drink alcohol and go to parties and go to festivals and take drugs. I wanna be happy. Who cares? I want to be great. I want to be great.